Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Mordian Glory Battle Report. And today guys we are going to be playing something a little bit different. It's going to be an incursion size game with the new channel army. That's right, the Death Guard are making their debut. So here we have 750 points of the new channel Death Guard Army. I just want to say a massive thank you to Killer Kriegs and 85 Painting Services for putting this force together. In fact, he did a whole Age of Darkness box set for me and he's built it in a way that I can use it both for 30k and for 40k. So massive thank you to him. And if you're interested in getting some commission painting done, then check out Killer Kriegs and 85. There will be a link down in the description below. So I did a video announcing this channel army and I said that people should put name suggestions down in the comment section and I would pick the best one. And I just want to say we had some absolutely fantastic suggestions. So big thank you to everyone that suggested names for it. We had some really funny ones, some really serious grim dark ones. But overall, I decided to actually go with the suggestion by the Cavalry General, which was to combine the two names of Pablo Alonso and Twilight. And that means that this force is going to be called the Blighted Choir, a.k.a. The Scourge of Mordia. So this is going to be really cool. So these guys are going to be very much antagonists for my Mordian 50th Rifles. I just want to say a big thank you to all of those guys, to the Cavalry General, to Pablo Alonso, to Twilight for those fantastic names. And I really like the combination of the two. So let's take a look at this force now. Let's start with the HQ. So it's going to be a patrol detachment today. It's 750 points of Death Guard. And we have got a Lord of Contagion. This is my favorite model in the whole army. And I have upgraded him so that he has the Man Reaper, which I believe allows him to sweep and cleave and i've also upgraded him to have acidic malady so it's got extra armor penetration i just really like this model i really like the lord of contagion i know there's probably more efficient choices but i just think that you can't go into battle with a death guard army without a good old lord of contagion moving behind him we've got a big unit of 10 plague marines and the sergeant has got a plaza pistol and a power sword and then we have got we also have a unit of 10 Plague Marines and the Sergeant is armed with a Plasma Pistol and a Demonic Plague Blade. There's also two Plasma Guns in there and we've got two Blight Launchers as well. The rest of the guys have just got Bolt Guns and Plague Knives. I know there probably are loads of free upgrades that you can stack on these guys but this is going to literally be my first game with the Death Guard so I thought, you know what, I'll keep it familiar with weapons that I know about. So I know what Plasma Guns do, I know what Blight Launchers do, so I thought that would do. We've then got five Blight Lord Terminators, and these have all got their standard loadout, apart from one guy here does have a Plague Spewer. And last but certainly not least, we have a Relic Contempt of Dreadnought, and this guy has got two sets of twin Lazcans. I really like this model. Killer Kriegsman gave me an extra set of twin Lazcans, I just think he's going to be awesome. So that is the force. I've just gone for a nice basic one. We've got a bit of infantry, we've got a Dreadnought, and overall, I think it really goes with this theme that I'm building for the army, where they very much are a 30k legion that's, that's popped out in the 40k universe so that's what the uh, the death guard have got let's see what they're facing off against today so here we have 750 points of blood angels we've got scholar down in the mordian glory battle bunker today scholar take us through what you've brought today so i've gone for what i perceived would be a, a pretty obvious uh, starting collection for Blood Angels. Now, ironically, if you buy the, the the current combat box, combat patrol box set, the only models that exist in it are uh, these intercessors here. But uh, regardless, this is all stuff I feel you would definitely want to pick up. You know, you're not going to collect Blood Angels and not have at least five Sandguard in there. You're not going to have less than five Death Company in your collection. Yeah. You want a Libby Dreadnought. You want a Smash Captain. So that's kind of what I went for. Stuff yeah. that you'll definitely want to see in action. Um, so, list super simple. Uh, I've got a Libby Dreadnought. He can uh, take those two from the Sanguinary Discipline, and he knows uh, the Quickening, which allows him to re-roll advance and charges on himself, and he gets D3 extra attacks on himself. And then he's also got Wings of Sanguinius, uh, so that just gives him uh, a, 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 an instant 12-inch move with Fly. Um, so he's, you know, I'm not bringing last cannons and that kind of thing for heavy support. He's my heavy support. He also has a melter gun. Uh, then I've got a captain, a smash captain. So he's got a hammer. He's got a storm shield. He's got a jet pack. Uh, and he's got the beacon and jealous, which means anyone within six inches whose blood angel gets reroll charges. Um, then onto the troops. It's just two squads of five intercessors with normal intercessor bolt rifles. Nothing, absolutely nothing fancy. Um, elites. 
We've got five death company, just chain swords, uh, absolutely well viable choice. I love thunder hammers, I love power swords, a combination in any which way you cannot go wrong. But you know, chain swords, if they're if they're in the assault doctrine, they've got six attacks each. Their AP minus two, they're absolutely murderous. Um, so that squad there is <laughs> thirty chainsaw attacks if yeah. it's if they're in the assault doctrine, yeah. and twenty five if they're not. So still insane. Uh, and then the sand guard, three attacks each base. Uh, they've all got flat damage too. Uh, they've got two incarmine axes, three incarmine swords for different flavors of strength and AP. Uh, and yeah, jetpacks. Uh, if you're a new player, you may not be aware that the sand guard always get uh, plus one to hit uh, when they're within six in melee, when they're within six inches of the warlord. That's heirs of Ascalon. So they'll obviously be accompanying the captain as a little retinue, um, which means they'll be hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, they're always minus one to hit in close combat as well. That's just a flat thing. Nice, nice. So there we go. Nice little compact Blood Angel Force. Very assaulty. I mean, you know, my Plague Marines have got a bit more shooty, but they are also pretty tough. So we'll see how it goes. We'll be back with the field of deployment and the mission. So here we have the field of battle after deployment. The Death Guard have formed into two blocks, two 30k style phalanxes. They might be in the uh, wrong edition here, but that's okay. So oh, that we... the warp. Standard. Yeah, exactly. The so that... butter explanation. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, Chaos did it. Chaos did it. Chaos did it. It's the standard uh, 40k explanation. So we've got a unit of Plague Marines here with the Blight Launchers and the Plasma Guns screening out the Dreadnoughts. So we've got a lot of firepower on this side. And then moving over to here... We've got our Dreadnought Terminator armor bastards. Dreadnought Terminators. Yeah, nice. exactly. Cataphracty style with their Lord of Contagion. Moving over to the Blood Angels. We've got the Librarian Dreadnought with lots and lots of intercessors and Death Company anchoring down that flank. And then we've got a little snicket attack force. It is going to be the Sanguinary Guard and the Captain. So it appears we have... A warlord and retinue off on the uh, on the far flank, and then we've got a bit of a shoppy shooty sort of situation going on on this flank. So I kind of interesting. Saying, I'm really enjoying the aesthetic, just with the armies down, the little boards, the little like yeah, you get to look at your characters more, your retinues more. It's not just like ah. Oh, Three blocks and nine Sangar. Yeah. It's, like, it's cool. It's really cool. I'm enjoying it so far. We haven't even rolled any dice. Exactly. We enjoy both saying it's quite nice to play a smaller game. We do. It seems very janky. Like, it's... I'm looking like I'm going to be able to score a lot of points. Yeah. The second is available to me. Yeah, it definitely, <laughs> like, you know, incursion is not balanced, but. This is just a fun game. It might be over in a couple of turns. It might grind Death Guard. Might do what Death Guard do. Grind it out for five turns. Yeah. You little, just don't know. You just don't know. I'm used to the Death Guard. Yeah. You know, I'm relaxed because I've got my Blood Angels, my comfy pair of pants. Exactly. So it's going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun game. Uh, you know, we're just going to have we're just going to have a bit of fun with it. So in terms of the mission, we are playing a display of spiritual might. All righty then. And then we. So that is a hold one, hold two, hold more for primary, uh, for tertiary. It's kill a unit, get a point. Up to three a turn. I only have four, so if Johnny kills three in one turn, then he has maxed won the game. It, <laughs> He's maxed it, and I concede. <laughs> and then the secondaries we've gone for. Uh, I'm sort of, sort of getting used to the Death Guard ones, so not please sure. Please do comment. Yeah, please let me know. This is very much a learning game for me. How I sort of want to, how I want this series of beginning Death Guard battle reports to be is is certainly a. I'm learning it. Chat comment section. Please tell me what to do. I imagine. You'll probably lose several games and then force me to use the Death Guard against your Imperial Guard for the foreseeable future. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, I think how it's going to... What I'm kind of expecting... I, you know, I remember we had this conversation when you were first getting into Death Watch. You lost 10 games in a row and then became undefeated. I almost with considered selling the army and yeah. then all of a sudden I like could read the matrix exactly it's just it's it's not a it's not numbers to him anymore it's, it's just like frag, lady, cannon. Lady, lady, dress, frag cannon <laughs> all that. Building a frag cannon. yeah exactly Dodge this. so uh in terms of the secondaries i have gone for spread the sickness because see, people seem to use that against me a lot when i'm playing ah, against them yeah down, down with the, the sickness, sickness. I might have to rethink the uh, the name of the army and call it the Disturbed now. But... Right, for me, they are the Disturbed. Nice. They are very much down with the sickness. Nice, yeah. Um, and then we've got a Despoiled Ground, which is one that I scored at the end of the game. Stop spoiling all my ground. And just despoiling, I'm spreading the sickness and despoiling the ground. And then I've gone for a classic. I've gone for Ass 
assassination. So there we go. <laughs> Uh, so the irony got... of me not taking assassination. Yeah, assassination. it's kind of interesting. I normally always have assassination taken against me, and this time <laughs> it's like only the one character. Uh, Johnny has gone for Blade of Sanguinius. He has issued a challenge with Baron Harkonnen against the Lord of Contagion, who is as of yet unnamed. Maybe he will earn some sort of crazy name in this uh, in this battle. Nick Atreides. Maybe. That would be kind of kind of ironic that I get the good guy name. But yeah, anyway. Um, although he did spit poison gas at someone, didn't he? Kind of Death Guardy. Oh. Oh. A trade in the house. <laughs> uh, and then he went for Relentless Assault, which is um, basically if he, if he just keeps me in my deployment zone, he's going to score loads of points for that. And then he went for Banners. So I imagine Johnny's tactic is kind of going to be Intercessors at the back, everything else pushing forward. Right, some Banners and then... Hit you in the face. Exactly. So there we go. Classic, classic Blood Angel tactics there. I'm going to display my spiritual might. He will display a spiritual might. I will I will pray to Papa Nurgle and hopefully he will give me some spiritual blight. <laughs> <laughs> so that is... That, that's awesome dice. So that is deployment. That is mission. That is secondaries. It's now time to find out who is going to go first. So do you have a dice for me? Okay, both using the Morning Glory dice today. Let's roll in the world's smallest dice tray. You got to go first. So I think the I think the Blood Angels are pretty happy about that. I'm not sure how I, I feel. I like to spend my only two CP on Full of Fury. Mmm, yes. Miserly hold on to them. Yes, oh, so yes, just be, be, that's a good point, John, to explain to people how the CP situation works in this battle. Mm, is that It's very... You, uh, squeaky bum time. It me. is. So Not you, the way I like it. Exactly. So you you have your three CP starting because it's an incursion. We've both spent one. I forgot to mention in my in my army trait that uh, my army overview that I was taking Arch Contaminator, and you said it was the uh, icon of jealous, but it's actually the icon of angels is your. Yeah, warning. it's the one that I explained the rules. It lets yeah. me reroll. It's yeah. just the uh, beacon of jealous is actually Death Watch. Okay. Um, so we both start with two CP, but you don't gain any CP rounds one or two. You gain one CP in each player's round three, and then you gain two CP in each player's round four and five. So, so it's actually very back ended. CP dump first turn, and then sort of get myself in the position where I can't, which is a very common mm. tactic. That's really not possible in this. And I, may, I think it may add some balance to what we thought might be a bit the, janky. Uh, yeah, because ultimately it stops you. You know, absolutely rinsing someone in such a small army. If I wipe out an entire unit first turn or two, you know, it's my army versus like 300 points, which would be awful. Does that make sense? So, yeah. And anyway, we'll find out, I guess. So we'll have, let John have a little think if he's going to Forlorn Fjord, if he's going to hold on to them. And we'll be back uh, after much of Blood Angels turn one. So the Blood Angels have done quite an aggressive move forward. The Dreadnoughts come out. These Incessors have moved and advanced forward. The Death Company and the Sanglary Guard have taken a central position supported by Baron Harkonnen. And then we have a singular unit of Incessors which have dropped down here. So that is the Blood Angels movement phase. We can go straight into their psychic. What do you want to do first? Uh, I'm going to do wings first. Okie dokie. It's sex. Get he it gets, it, gets it off. So you can't stop me, can you? Nobody can stop me. Yeah. And you're about to get to the top. All right. So let and me just gonna... bring the... 12 to there. Very nice. Oh, I think I'm bang on 12 for a melter shot. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so I'll, of course, go for uh, the quickening. Again, need a sit. That's quickening. Uh, okay. Get it off. Nice. So we'll three extra attacks. Yeah, roll that now. So he gets the big three. So what we'll do is we'll put a little marker next to him to show he's got the... I've got that, uh, little buttons and stuff, man. Cool. Uh, and we will... Uh, yeah, that's so psychic phase. Just, I've only got one shot, so I can pop it right now. Okay, so he's got the one shot. He's going to pop a wheelie. Into, yeah. Melter. It is a miss, sadly. So uh, that is the... That's this. I've really got one charge. Right, let's go, right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Doing it live! Uh, right, so obviously into the boys. Into the boys. Uh, I uh, could I've overwatch. I've got reroll charges as well. If you are within I'm range. I'm not going for that 12, but I need... Oh, is that with quickening you get it? Yeah, yeah, get reroll, advance and charge. And the extra attack. And the extra attack. Okay. Uh, so just, yeah, I mean, I am not going to overwatch. So okay. off, off you go. So that it's five, so that's a six in total. I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to be a bit bigger than that. Yeah, a little bit bigger, a little, little bit bigger. bigger. Not much, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in trouble. 
Oh, that is a turn up for the books. Nobody likes to be sat in front of a quad lads kind of fucking tent. That's unfortunate. Hey yo, lads kind of in the house. All right, there we go. All right, that is a, that is a most unfortunate. But now uh, that is the end of the Blood Angels turn. It's an aggressive push. It was a, it was a, it could have potentially yeah, made yeah. the game. It could have potentially made the game, but it has unfortunately made the game go on a bit longer rather than made the game go on a bit shorter. Uh, well, I guess we'll spoon with you for. The entirety of the Death Guard turn. Now. Exactly. So, Death Guard turn one movement. We've consolidated our firepower around the Lord of Contagion, and the Terminators have moved up here. It is an eight inch charge into the Sanguinary Guard. So, uh, it's not likely to happen, but I do have a CP reroll in the bag. Now, we're going to go for some shooting now. I've got no psychic. We're going to go for some shooting. First thing we're going to do is the Laz Cannon Contempt of Dreadnought, and he's going to put all of his shots into the sky into the sky <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna put all of his shots into the librarian dreadnought it's hot dreadnought on dreadnought action pay-per-view all right let's see what happens so he's hitting on threes and we're rolling ones. ones okay oh no that's not an auto wound in this army <laughs> ah it was a one into a one okay so now we're gonna be wounding on threes okay and we oh, have got three wounds. Serious trouble. That's uh, three wounds. Now this will be... Three points to be getting. AP three? Because I'm not a face wound, so I don't get AP four, do I? I don't... I don't think, think I so. get that, that doctrine. So, uh, minus two, you want a five up? Save? It's a minus three, I'm on a... It's AP minus three. So yes. Six up save. But you've got armed contempt. Of course. But of course, young Batman. <laughs> so what am I on? Five up here. The old five ups. Hey, not bad. Uh, I am going whoop. to CP one. Oh, he's, CP, he's CPing one. Okay. Ooh. No, I'm not. No, he's not. Okay. Go he's going to wear it. So the damage from the first one is six. Oh, no, I need it. Six becomes five because of being a dreadnought. Yeah. And then two becomes one. one. So it, uh, do I spend a CP? You don't get him back, man. I don't get a big bird. No, I've got a whole squad of shooting. No, so he will take six damage total, which leaves him with three, I believe, because he's a regular leg. Is it two? Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll definitely wear it then. So then we've got the... Uh, then, then I'll quick look at the stats of the old Plague Marines, and then we'll be back with them. So we're going to start with the Blight Launchers first. Now, these are Assault 2, so they'll be going to be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. So there's a two in there. Now, they'll be wounding on fives, but thanks to Arch Contaminator and these being a plague weapon, I'll get full rerolls to hit. Wound. The wound, even. So that's one so far, and that's two. Well. Now, these are AP2, so they become AP1, so you're on the old four ups. Come on, pretend I'm Drakari and Bunch Dave. With my witch. Hey, nurse. nice. So then we're going to go for the two plasma guns. So we'll do the first one uh, overcharging, reroll because of my lord. So he gets two hits. My lord. <laughs> my lord. And then we will have um, the next guy. Two hits. Oh, these sixes. I'm like, oh, they auto wound. No, they don't. Play Votan. Anyway, now we're wounding on threes. Guard, but the wrong type of guard. Yeah, okay. So we've got three wounds. Now these will be five ups and two damage, but it becomes one damage, so you don't care. So five ups. Uh, so two are going to go through. That will kill him. There is uh, a flurry of the old bolt guns left. I'll leave it. Okay, so he's going to die. Explode. Explosion. No, close. No explosion. So I have killed him and I've gained three points. Uh, so that is all of the shooting. I did put, say I was going to put everything into the... Uh, you can't see anything else. In, I can't see anything else. So it's just the charge. It is an eight-inch charge into the Sanguinary Guard. I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, he will have his buff. Oh, I won't man. have my buff. But I figured I would happily launch into them and hurt them I'm yeah so we'll see what happens nope do i spend a precious cp to re-roll it um i did say i was going to if i you did if I, to. I did say i was going to though we're going to go for it papa Nurgle, bless these dice no no, no it's, a four, it's a four and a one so i've spent a cp for nothing which is a bad shit maroki but we'll be back uh that's the end of the of the death guard turn so we will be back in Blood Angels turn two, and this is where it's going to get spicy, boys. Let's see what happens. So the Blood Angel movement, and now huh, psychic phase was very quick. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
it burns. It's, in this case, it's a uh, it's a stinging sensation when you urinate because you're playing Death Girl. That's the pain <laughs> feeling. Uh, now <laughs> it is going to be all of these all of these blood angels blood, de- is pissing blood angels. Now all of these um, <laughs> jump pack units have jumped. I'm not even saying what the hell's going on this battle for at this point. All of these blood angel jump pack units have jumped over here and like, they are going to uh, do some yeah, horrible things. Two on one. I was tempted to obviously have hold, clung. Uh, with extreme discipline onto those two CP so that I can burn them, making one of these units counters in every... Uh, doctrine. Doctrine. Uh, and it's really difficult to decide what to do, or it was really difficult to decide what to do, because obviously these guys would get much better shooting from that, but these guys would get like a serious buff, an extra AP. And in the end, these guys have more chainsword attacks than these have... Uh, Bolter and Jealous shots, so it would be a greater number of additional AP minus one on these guys. So the Death Company was the obvious choice in the end. Okay, so what you're telling me in that long-winded explanation is you've gone for the, all the combat doctrines on the Death Company. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> pistols very well. It just these damn imperials. They just keep going on and on and on. Like get it's to the a, get to the fight. It's for a start. You know, really don't know what's going on here. Embrace but, the dark gods. Embrace the chaos. So I've, got ten, I've got essentially twenty shots going to these guys. I've got ten twenty uh, ten from these that have remained stationary they can see out these windows with chat they can see these guys here yeah we've got these guys that have moved forward um they're gonna raise a banner though so actually oh. if i leave them in the cover I feel yeah like yeah move them back afterwards yeah. that's fine okay and so then it's i'll do my 10 shots across okay Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. so it's just unsupported threes oh man every time i see sixes now i'm just like oh, oh, auto is oh wait no Okay. And then uh, fives or fours? Uh, it will be fives. I am a uh, toughness five. Oh, this is interesting. Two wounds. Okay, now I believe... Ten minus two. Uh, I have been a little foolish and I've gone off the um, the cover cell before ups because of... Uh, you don't have armor of contempt. I do. Do you? I, yes, nice. indeed. Nice. I have no just... No doctrines, but... Yes, I have just as much contempt for you as you have for me. I, I knew you should have it, so I agree with that. Uh, so I'll take a wound. Nice. Wow, this is weird. You know, I get saves and shit. This is such a strange feeling, man. Having, ta- uh, having solid units. Yeah, weird. Oh, eight men didn't die. Oh, yeah. Now, that's just so strange. He wasn't wounding on twos at all. Sorry, guys. I've been playing the wrong guard all along. It's now uh, Death Guard Decadence is the channel of the name. It's not going to be... Channel of the name. Name, the name of the channel. The... No. I feel the warp overtaking me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the brain rot. I'm becoming a pops walker. It's no longer Ogren brain that I suffer from. It's Pox brain. Now two, four, six, eight, ten. Tw- you have two CP? No. Nine, I have one so CP. you can't interrupt me. I can't interrupt. So I need to actually do the charges because I just moved to within an inch of you. I believe you were going to do some shooting first. Uh, I was. I'm going way too carried away. You are. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, Angelus Bolt guns. Okay. And I'll pop these. They're AP minus two because it's a tactical doctrine currently. And they'll go into there. Okay. Um, so that's hit with all of those. Yeah. So they're going into the Death Guard, I should have said when I said over there. The Plague Marines. Plague Marines. Uh, yeah. We're on fives though, so Nada. A Wanna. That's what you think. Can I kill a guy? Yes, you I can. can kill a guy. So one guy has died. There we go. Uh, five bolt pistols. These will be. He's with Nurgle eight. now. Uh, these will go uh, into the term, it's just soften up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so that is because I only do one damage a time, don't I? That is so, true. Neither. Uh, so oh. three wounds. Oh, I am on a two up save. Nice. Ooh. Never mind. Ooh. Not done anything anyway. So charging. Charging. Uh, the captain is going to go into your boss. Okay. And I believe he'll probably make it with a plus one. Uh, yeah, probably. Do you just want to hop over? Yeah, just pop Choo. behind you. It's a, it's a than six. fight of ages. Death Company, they're probably going to shunt, shunt so they're around this area, just so they're within six. Okay, well, we could do all the other movement. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, space for that, and the sign got just over there. So. Okay, cool. Right, so uh, that is good. We'll, let, we'll move all those guys in, and we'll be back with some choppy choppy.
So we're going with the captain first. It is the jewel of ages. I cannot interrupt because I've just frivolously spent a CP. Oh, that's uh, not a great start. That's two that misses. Way. Those two misses. Uh, you're two gonna be. Misses. It's no yes because it's I'm still two because of being blood angels. Let's see. Three okay, wounds. three wounds. Now uh, I need to make uh, four vulnerable saves on these. Probably. Uh, yes, yeah, four be the way. Okay, oh, so that will be four wounds minus because minus one. Uh, so everything. I'm just going to check how many wounds he's got. Oh, look, it's right here. Uh, he's got six. Oh, he's still going. He's having a great time. Nice. All right, so he is going to have two wounds left. I was tempted to CP re-roll it, but I was like, I'm pretty certain he's going to have more than four wounds. If my company commander has four wounds, this guy better have more. Yeah. All right, so that is the captain. Uh, then we will go, we'll, Johnny will get his dice together and we'll go with the next unit. So now we're going to go with the Death Company. They are going to be hitting me with 30 attacks. They're hitting on threes, rerolling ones, but then they're wounding only on fours, even mm. with the uh, Blood Angel shenanigans. But then AP minus two, so it's a bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, right? it's a roller coaster of emotions right here. Okay. So you can reveal that one on top if it's not flat in the tray. Okay, it was a okay. fail either way. There's oh. a lot of twos there from initial glance. Okay, so I'll tell you what, we'll let you pick those out and then we'll be back in a second. So those are the hits so far, but Johnny does get a chance to convert some more. Uh, ooh, oh, a lot of twos. Ooh, it's a lot of twos. It's a lot of twos. Come on, Papa right. Nurgle. Here we go. So Maybe now, here, fours, here we go. All fours, no breaks. Here we go. Right. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we'll let you pick those out. We'll see what the total is. So we have got 13 saves on the Blight Lords, and this is going to be three ups. So that's... That is one dead and a wound, because they've got three wounds each. One dead and a wound. Okay, uh, Sangard coming in next, then I'll get a chance to swing back. So what are you rolling first? Swords. Swords and first. And you're rolling ones. Okay. I can just do this quick for you. Yeah, that's fine. All hit. All hit. And then wounding on fours, threes. Threes. Yeah, because you spent five with um, uh, Blood, Blood Angels. Angels. So it's that many for you. Okay, now these will be four up saves. All the way. All the way. Four up saves, but only one damage because being Death Guard. Mm, okay. Exactly. Very nice. Okay. Good roll. Uh, the one injured damage. guy dies, and, and another, another guy is going to die. Okay. So that's two dead. So there's two left so far. Axes. Four, five. He's be winning on two. Mm. So two be rolling ones. So they haven't missed. Oh dear, oh dear. With anything. Come on, Nurgle. Two, no rerolls. So there's a couple of ones there. Okay. Four ups for you. I can hear the ice cream truck of death calling me. All right, let's see what he gets. Uh, one is going to be alive. On He's two wounds. On two wounds. So we'll be back. We'll take those moles off and then we'll be back with the uh, Death Guard fight backs. So now we're going to fight back with the uh, Lord of Contagion. Now, I, I have checked, and it doesn't appear that his Arch Contaminator affects himself. It's just play company core units within six inches of the Warlord. Welcome so to chaos. Everything you have is slightly worse than mine. Yeah, I mean, that seems a little bit weird. I am just going to double check his data sheet again. But it's like, what is it? You've got your Lord of Contagion here. Play character, yeah. There's nothing there that Drop says. A comment below, guys, if you know yeah, if you think we're getting this wrong, let us know. But he doesn't look like he's core, which is a bit of a shame, really. You'd think the arch contaminator would certainly be able to uh, buff himself, but there you go. Is so he is going to go. The captains can't be like, go on me. Yeah, that's true. Shot. That is true. Now he is going to go with the man reaper, and he is going to go for the scythe ability. So he'll be hitting on twos. So we've got a one, uh, and then he'll be wounding on even. A lot of attacks there, Timothy. Yeah, he's got five base, and when he when he sides, he gets two hit rolls instead of one. Um, and then he'll be wounding you on threes because even though he's strength five and you're minus one toughness, um, that still comes to threes. Ooh, That's not ideal. That's not ideal to say the least. I ouchie wouchie. So that is just four wounds through on the captain. Uh, it'll be a four up um, invulnerable save on this. So he takes a wound. Okay, not ideal at all. So just a what? Just one wound. So he's got four left. The duel continues, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and there's four wounds left. You've got five on a captain. So that is that. And then I've got my blight lord terminator. Now he has got how many attacks? It's Battle Terminator Sergeant, so he's going to have four attacks. Uh, he's got his Bale Sword, so he's going to be hitting on uh, he's going to be hitting on threes. Oh, yeah. 
attacking? Um, I'll be attacking the um, Sanguinary Guard. So it would be minus one to hit. Okay, so he hits with uh, two attacks. Uh, and then he's going to wound on uh, threes. Two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, AP three on a bail sword. So it would be four up for me. Four ups, yeah. He oh, kills one. He, kills he one. just pop one. Okay. So that is that. Is that. Now, uh, for leadership, I have lost four guys. So I need to see if I run away with the last one. And he does. Oh. He does actually run away. That's a big blow. Fear me. That is a big blow. I really didn't need... What a spiritual display of might that was. Do I use my CP to re-roll that? No. I think I'd rather have more attacks from what I've got left in my army. Yeah. So okay. that is my casualties there. Now, we'll be back with the Death Guard turn. So for my movement phase, my Lord of Contagion has fallen back. I just don't fancy his chances in combat there. And then my Plague Marines have moved forward here to try and get into a nice counter-attacking position. Now I am going to... Big gonna... brain manoeuvres. Big brain manoeuvres. Big brain manoeuvres. Now my thinking is if I can kill the Lord and the Sand Guard, then I'm sort of there. back in the game a bit and I can go for that sort of turn three, four, five victory, because I went second. Now, my thinking is that I'm going to spend my final CP on virulent rounds, which means that all of my weapons would count as uh, plague weapons for the shooting phase. So I'm out of CP, but what that means is that they're going to get full rerolls from Arch Contaminator, which is pretty, it's pretty spicy. Mm. It's pretty spicy. Now, what we're going to do... a turd in my curry. As a turd in the curry, yeah, exactly. Compliments of Nurgle. Right, anyway, so we're going to have the Las Cannon Dreadnought, and he's going to go into the Sanguinary Guard. Of course, of course. Of course. Oh, no! Thank God he's in range of the, uh, of the captain. Jesus Christ. Right, those are, those are going over there. All right, let's try again. Come on, come on, come on. Nurgle, Nurgle, the blessed dies. Ah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay, so now you will actually technically be toughness three. So you're winning on twos because I'm my stinky boy aura. Yeah, but now it's like really wounding on twos. There we go. Okay, so that's three. Uh, so these will be four ups. Four ups. Here we go. Come up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, so now the <laughs> Plague Marines are going to put their Plasma and their Blight into the Sanguinary Guard, and they're going to put and the Plasma Pistol from the Sergeant into the Sanguinary Guard, and they're going to put their Bolt Weapons into the Captain. Okay. Okay. So we will have the first Plasma Gun, and he'll get a reroll. Oh dear. It's not going well. Oh sorry. dear. Okay, yeah. This is really. This is a. This is a. This game is probably over now. The bottom's falling out of the dead guy. Yeah. No, oh, it's no. just no. Have... Get another reroll one, please. Yeah! I've just killed, literally just killed all of my plasma guns for one hit. Uh, it does wound, though. It does wound. So that'll be uh, a four up on the Sanguinary Guard. Really did not need to kill my own plasma guns on this charge. Oh, sorry, I missed the thing, but it is a he does. He does get it, right? And the sergeant, he gets a hit. And he doesn't wound because it's not a plague weapon. So that's that's really bad. That is really, really bad. That is game, guys. Uh, this is the Blight Launchers. The they all hit. Scarlet has to use the Death Guard. <laughs> uh, those are four four wounds on with the Blight Launchers. These will be three ups. Three ups. Yeah, these will be three ups. Uh, and I kill one. Two damage flat. Yeah, flat two damage. So, yeah, four Laz Cannons and two Plasma Guns. Uh, did one kill. That's really, really... And I killed two of my own guys in that. That's really bad, guys. Like, anyway, I've got... That's the definition of one step forward, two steps back. Yeah, so I've got four <laughs> bolt guns going into the into the captain now. Oh, no. It's really bad. Um, oh, man, just all the twos. Look at that. Yeah, that is, uh, that is game, guys. I can just... <laughs> I, I can genuinely predict that is game. That is, like... Uh, don't, that don't, is really. Don't give it up yet. Yeah, you know how good I am at rolling bad dice. Yeah, right, threes, threes on these, on your captain. Uh, no, is it? Because he's got a storm shield, so I'm just gonna take. You a can't do that. Storm shields just don't stack with arm of contempt. No, but I'll just use the storm shield without the arm of contempt. Oh, I don't know how it works, but just roll it, man. It's a bolt weapon, it's... So I'm just taking the. I'm not getting a minus one, but I haven't got a minus one, so it's just the time. I, I genuinely don't know how it worked. I, I thought you could. It doesn't matter anyway. Right, yeah. All right, so. Works, but... Cool. Um, yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, that is. That is game. <laughs> that is no, literally game. No, because you're going to get 12 points for primary next turn. 
Uh, yeah, that's that is pretty much over. We'll see what happens, guys. But that was you could not have had a worse Especially turn there. From fit in fear, the chaos gods you have. Have, uh, you have. You know, you're supposed to like. I my first army in Warhammer, like the whole GP yeah. thing was chaos, right? But for Warhammer fantasy, right? Back yeah. In the day, and I can tell you right now, you are supposed to be covering yourself in glory in the eyes of the chaos gods you know boons and that kind of thing in the old rule where if you killed someone where you yeah. you got like a buff and said so you fled for the swords of sanguinius but chaos is trickery chaos is trickery that's the thing isn't it anyway so the point is is that was that genuinely could not have been a worse turn do you know what i mean like oh it could have been if i hadn't killed any sangard that was yeah, the only way it could have been worse uh so yeah i mean there's not much i can do here guys i'll go for a charge uh, with the plague guys to try and uh do something to these sanguinary, uh, sanguinary guard. Good but come at Millhouse. Let's see what happens. So we'll go for a... Um, charge on the sand guard? Charge on the sand guard, yeah. Yeah, so they'll go in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all going to be basically the same. Um, so they'll... Um, I think play moves, I think they've only got one attack I mean, each, so them, they might have to... Uh, Plague Marines are over here. Two attacks each. Uh, I haven't got any more CP because my uh, Blight Rounds did nothing. So 18 attacks, is it? So there's oh, no. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven because they a lot of them killed themselves. Huh. So I that's uh, five guys. That's seven guys. So we'll be hitting on uh, fours because of being of Sanguinary Guard. Uh... That was a rollover. So that's my hits. Uh, wounding on uh, threes with re-rolls. I mean, look at that. Even with the re-rolls, man. That's all right. What are you about? Without the re-rolls, that, would have, Without the re -rolls, that would have been terrible. Without the re-rolls, that would have been terrible. These are... Lack of faith, I find disturbing. Uh, these will be two ups because even though they've got plague knives, it doesn't matter. And we do a wound to a guy. You now get to fight back. So I'll go with two axes. One, two, three, four... Five, because I've been charged and I'm I'm not it's not till the next battle round is it it's just till the end of the turn for the counting as every phase I'm not charging those guys anyway I'm charged thank god yeah you put that on your death company so you get mega yeah that's it that's yeah. it you're right sorry I'm used to having a sanguinary priest with me and I'm yeah <laughs> sorry force of habit so it's four attacks each yeah so they access nope and then twos on the axes. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so uh, it'll be minus two becomes minus one. Yeah, so that one. Two is it'll wind. become. Uh, it'll two become. Is a wind. Uh, yeah, because your strength six. six. Uh, so I lose a guy. Okay. And then we've got. Uh, that's it. That's the combat. So that is the end of the uh, Death Guard turn two. Uh, I lost three of my own guys and Johnny lost one and a half sanguinary guard. So that's a bit of a shame, guys. I was really hoping that uh, what would happen is I would be able to kill the sanguinary guard with the with the dreadnought and or at least soften them up and then they be able to finish off the captain with the plague marines. But it just totally, it just literally totally went the complete opposite way I needed it I'm to. Uh, so yeah, basically I can predict what's going to happen now. Uh, the the plague marines are going to get picked up. The Lord's going to get picked up and then that'll be that. But we'll roll it out. We'll see if the Dark Gods, uh, you know, they, they, they sometimes punish you to give you despair and then they sometimes uh, then buff you to get, to make the joy even higher when you, you know, yeah, come back so from the exactly. brink. You don't know what they have in store. For yeah, you. but we'll see what happens. So we'll be back uh, when Blood Angels have done their turn. Okay, I might not be a worshipper of Zinch, but I can see the future and the Death Guard Plague, the uh, Death Company have jumped over here to surround the Plague Marines and it's going to be there's basically I've moved these guys over ready to raise a banner I'm doing things properly I'm making yeah. all the moves yeah 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 still, you're still an adherent to the Codex Start he's got to exactly. do the, do the got to do the battle properly so uh, yeah it's now onto your shooting phase okay so uh, I'm remaining in combat with these these bottle pistols are going to shoot at him and he's going to throw a crack grenade at him okay so one, two, three, four, five bolt pistols doesn't really matter does it nothing nothing crack and grenade there's a hit and it is a wound. It's a wound. It'll be a three up and I make it. Mostly okay. not doing him because it cost myself five points. Yeah, yeah. Him. Uh, right charges. It is charge time. In there. Yeah. In there. 
and I'm in already. Yeah, okay, so you get to go first. I We both have one CP now, just turn three. Mm, interesting. Uh, right, okay, uh, I'll do the captain first. Okay. Four, five, six attacks, and then turn three. Yep. Three, mm, threes. Just looking relatively, can't re roll his own. Go me. Yeah. Uh, Triple self doubt of the it's captain. It's going to be still going to be twos, I think. Yeah, because I'm strength eight, eight but it's I'm always plus one to win, so it's yeah, three down yeah. to twos. Okay, so I need to make all of these four from vulnerable saves. Fifteen points. Is quite I'm going to use my CP. CP. I'm going to use my CP. Come on, for grandfather Nurgle. Nope. nope. And yeah, that's uh, another 15 CP for Johnny. Victory points. Yeah, it's over, guys. It's over. We'll see what the Plague <laughs> Marines could do or anything. But this is somewhat the nature of a thousand point games. I don't think I've ever seen one go beyond turn, well, it's because turn if three. You get one swingy set of dice, like one swingy bit of luck in my favour, one bad bit of luck in yours. And that's what it was. You got loads of four ups, and I got no hits and wounds, and it was just. And that's it. The, you know, that decides the game. Got, when you've got. A 2k versus 2k, that's one little flank or a, a skirmish over one objective. And yeah, you lost that bit, but you've got yeah. five turns, you know, it'll swing back. But here it's kind of hard to recover from having all your Terminators killed and then not doing anything in return. Kind of yeah, thing. I mean, it's just, it's honestly I just that. I did roll mega lucky in my turn too, but you. It was just, it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was just, it was all that. Anyway, my turn, we'll my turn two was down. just game losing. Uh, man. One, two, three, four, five attacks from the Sangar because it's two, uh, no, four. No one's been charged. Three. No, no one's, one's been charged. No one's been charged, that's it. So it's yeah, three attacks it. per so guy. One, two, three, four, five, six axes. Hitting on twos, we're rolling ones because the captain. Okay, here we go. Uh, wounding on twos because they're axes. Yeah, so uh, five ups here. Uh, oh, so um, one dead and a wound. The death guard, I mean, that would be three killed, so you can feel the resilience. Do you know what I mean? They are damaged. Oh, I'm not saying they're not resilient. I'm just saying uh, my, my literally my dice just disappeared. Do you know what I mean? They literally went down into Nurgle's asshole and never came back up again. 15, 20, <laughs> 25, 6, 7. You have a sword in there as well. Eight, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, I've got the that's sword. That's my uh, wound dice, but that's sorry, all right. You won't need it. Okay. Oh. Ooh, harsh. Uh, what, three hits. hits. One wound. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I do, it. I hey, do you pass, need it. My help to pass it. There, and there you go. I need, I need to tell you, I'm saying I don't need my wound. I don't fucking need my wound dice. This is the death company. Okay. Uh, so we'll let you pick those out and then we're back in a second. So now this is going to be forced to wound. Okay, and we'll pick those out. And here we have the, the saves of the death com of the death guard, which is going to be fours oh, up. Nice so client. one guy dead, two guys dead. Three guys dead, four guys dead, five guys dead, and there's one, two, three, four, five in the unit. And that will be the end of the Death Guard Plague Marines, and that will be the end of the game. <laughs> you don't want to pop four shots from your last cannon, just roll the dice, pick them up. It's not going to do anything, man. It's, it's not going to do anything. Roll four dice, last cannons. Give the people what they want. All right, so I'll see if I can kill your captain. Oh, you go for my captain. Cool. Yeah, I'll see if I can kill your captain. So this is just my turn three. There, into captain. Three hits. Two wounds. Two four up. Be a little bit of bullshit cherry on the bullshit cake. Oh, I th I've got a feeling it's going to be. It takes one. You can use CP. Got your CP. Hey, and he passes it, and that's the end of the game, guys. That is truly the end of the game. It's a real, it's a real shame. The death probably outscored you just with him slaying the. Oh yeah, like I got, I got no points. Like what I needed. <laughs> What I needed, guys, quite simply, was I needed to clear out the the sanguinary guard and the captain. I then probably could have charged the death company and held them in place, you know, and then sort of got through them, especially with my cap, my my own captain. Six never and then you know, use turn four, turn five to come back on the points. But sadly, it was not to be. And it's always good when heretics get cut to pieces. It's a little bit of a shame when it's their debut on the channel, but uh, I'm still learning the army, guys. Yeah, I'm still learning the army. So let me know down in the comment section if you've got uh, if you've got any any sort of suggestions for me, anything that I missed, maybe <clears throat> any strategies, difficult to use strategies, and you've got maybe very few so, CP. If you're a Death Guard player or a Blood Angels player, you know what, what starter army would you take? What adjustments would you make? I think personally, what I would do again, what I would do again is um, 
Rolls I, and decent dice. It's rolls and sure. decent dice. That's of, of course, of course. But what I think I would realistically do is take a minimum unit of plague marines and sit them on that the whole game, and then I think I would take uh, more terminators, just max out <laughs> on the terminator, take a ten man terminator block, uh, and then I think what I would do is I'd actually take this guy with uh, a fist from a blood angel's perspective, with a fist, and that way I can do a bit of everything. There. You know, it's just testament once again to the power of Sandguard with uh, Armour of Contempt. Yeah. I was effectively running a 550 points into the face of 750 points. I also lost my Dreadnought, which is 150 on the nose, so it's exactly 400 points. Yeah. Took on 750. I mean, yeah, you, you lost two guys. Yeah. That's it. I think, yeah, I do I do think that, um, obviously, it's going to come down to a lot of experience and, obviously, the, the weapon options I have and all that kind of stuff because it's only sort of my beginner. Well, you know, it's just your first step. First step on the road to heresy, on the road to the Grandfather Nurgle's Garden. The path to hell is paved with good intentions. But... I just and poor died. Dice rolls. I poor dice rolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, you, you give yourself over to the dark gods. The chaos gods are not welcome on your channel, clearly. Yeah, anytime clearly. I run chaos, I get absolutely diddled. I also run chaos knights who are awful, and I'm also not very good with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It really does come down to a lot of like player experience and stuff. Like I, I know I misplaced a lot of stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Nice little quick snappy battle report. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content like this, let us know. If you want to see more death, you know, death guard on the channel more. If you want to see more smaller games, let us know. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. And if you've really enjoyed it and want to see more channel armies and all this kind of good stuff, then please consider becoming a channel member Tap or Patreon supporter. We're have yeah. basically every army on the channel. Eventually, we'll have every army on the channel. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.